1996's Resident Evil is on any respectable shortlist of the most influential console games of all time. While it didn't invent the idea of horror gaming, it is almost impossible to imagine how the horror genre would have ever thrived in gaming without it. Despite defining a genre and an era in gaming, the original Resident Evil was hardly the product of a clear creative vision crafted by those who are confident that their work would change gaming forever. Resident Evil was, in many ways, a happy accident that success stunned even those who spent years working on it. Let's take a look at some of the many ways that Resident Evil was changed during development. Resident Evil. Rehashed. Rewritten. Reinvented. Almost a first-person game. One of the earliest versions of Resident Evil's PlayStation build utilized a first-person perspective. A lone piece of concept art and statements from the game's developers suggest that version of the game would have been somewhere between Doom and the game we eventually got. Sadly, depending on your perspective, the limitations of the PlayStation hardware made it incredibly difficult for the team to complete their vision while preserving that first-person viewpoint. They instead decided to utilize a fixed camera system previously seen in Alone in the Dark. Future Resident Evil games, including Resident Evil 7 and the upcoming Resident Evil Village, would revisit and reimagine that first-person concept. Original Resident Evil Characters a famous piece of concept art from Resident Evil's early days reveals that the original four main characters of the cast would have been Jill, Chris, Dewey, and Gelzer. Dewey was described as a comic relief character who some say was modeled after Eddie Murphy, while Gelzer was going to be a mechanically enhanced heavy weapon specialist. Gelzer was eventually replaced by Barry Burton when the team decided to abandon the project's early sci-fi elements. As for Dewey, it's believed that he was essentially replaced by Rebecca Chambers, despite the fact that they're two very different characters. Interestingly, the name Dewey was reused as the last name of the Star's helicopter pilot in the retail version of the game. An Extended Graveyard Sequence Various early builds of Resident Evil included a graveyard sequence that would seemingly play a major role in the final game. There is no such sequence in the original PlayStation version of the title. It turns out that the graveyard was just one of those things that got cut as Resident Evil's development progressed and the team needed to start trimming the game down to get it out on time. Thankfully, the original graveyard concept is faithfully recreated in the brilliant Resident Evil remake. Intro video was censored in the US. The game's opening live-action sequence was heavily censored for the title's US release. Not only was the whole thing converted to black and white from the original color footage, but certain scenes were cut entirely or otherwise edited carefully. For instance, Chris is shown smoking a cigarette in the uncensored version, and his original character profile showed him with a cigarette as well. That profile picture was changed during development but it seems that Chris almost beat Solid Snake to the punch as an infamous PlayStation smoker. The uncensored opening was supposed to make it into the game's director's cut, but a mistake by the localization team caused the censored version to be re-released instead. It was years before that footage was properly restored. The DualShock version soundtrack was the result of a decades-long scam. When Capcom decided to release the director's cut of Resident Evil that supported the PlayStation's DualShock controls, they also decided to give that version a new soundtrack. The idea was that the new soundtrack would offer those who already purchased the game a little more incentive to also buy the updated title. Even better, Capcom managed to convince Mamoru Samuragachi a famous Japanese composer whose partial deafness led some to call him the Digital Age Beethoven, to compose a fully orchestral soundtrack to replace the original synthesized sounds. It sounded like a recipe for success, but much of that new soundtrack turned out to be indescribably awful. The basement theme is considered one of the worst video game songs of all time. 
what happened? Years later, it was discovered that Samuragachi had not only exaggerated his condition, but had gotten a friend of his, Takashi Nagaki, to ghostwrite most of his work. Nagaki is believed to be the actual composer of the DualShock version's infamous soundtrack. The Sega Saturn version made some weird and notable changes. Of the many versions of Resident Evil, the Sega Saturn edition of the original title has to be one of the strangest. Not only did the Sega Saturn port feature notable visual design changes, but it introduced a special mode that would eventually serve as the genesis of Resident Evil's famous Mercenaries mode. The new mode featured a special tyrant not seen in any of the other games, as well as a zombified version of Albert Wesker. The tyrant could be a callback to a time when Capcom reportedly intended to add a second tyrant boss to the game. But the zombie version of Wesker is just a bizarre trip into an alternate timeline.